Mold. Thermal bridging can cause mold. Thermal bridging is an energy loss thing. OK, it's an energy loss thing. If I have to have a little bit of thermal bridging, and I'll, I can calculate in my energy loss. But that's not what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about interior surface temperature and co potential condensation. So when we analyze interior surface temperature, we're looking for potential for condensation. Now, the protocols from both institutes call for you to use a fixed number so that everybody across the whole country uses the same number for the exterior condition. But guess what? We don't all live in the same thing. In Miami, I'm not going to have any potential for condensation. But in Ottawa, I will. And so what we end up doing is we run all our stuff at what the actual design temperature is for the ASHRAE 996 design temperature. And you get much, much different results depending on what you're doing. And just understanding that basic principle of adjusting your exterior condition to what your actual uh, Pittsburgh exterior design. What is your, do you, does anybody here know what the exterior design temperature is for winter 99.6? You're an engineer, do you know? Four, something like that. Yeah, and I think both protocols are around 14F. So that's a 10 degree delta. So if I was doing that calculation for interior condens condensation, I want to do it at what your design temperature is rather than what your, what the certification. Now when I send it in for certification, I'll send it in the 14F. But when I'm giving my clients advice, I'm giving it to what their actual climate is. 